All right, y'all, this is out the washing machine. This is the 3G. This is the sublimation inkjet dark transfer. This is the elamination sheet. Still sound crunchy. Everything is still intact. It is going for wash number two, and we're going to do another video. All right, y'all, this is wash number two. Still holding up. No peeling. Colors are in. We know that's going to stay in. We're going to put this one in the dryer. Let me get the other one. Here go the last two shirts. Let's get these out and look at them. That is the dark transfer with sublimation inkjet printer. And this is the 3G. Everything is still here. Let's put them in the dryer. And I have one more wash I'm going to do. It's a new day, so I'm doing a total of three wash. So this is wash day number two. This have been washed twice, dried twice. See the crinkling? I really didn't turn this inside out to dry. I did the picture after the washing machine, put it directly in the dryer like it was. This one do too. And of course, the lion. The lion is still looking good, but it got the, like I said, crunchy feeling. I think I would get a piece of Teflon paper and repress it so you wouldn't see the folds from where it was in the washing machine. That's all I would do to the line. So over to the wash machine for the third and final wash, you guys. Look, colors are still holding. We know the color is going to hold in this. It was, was the lamination sheet going to really stick to this cotton shirt this long? I did not think that would happen. It did. Look at the colors. They're there. You know, I got to get all in there. I need to see. I need y'all to see. This is the 3G dark transfer. Color is in there. Let's go again and look at the inkjet sublimation dark transfer. Color is in there. <laughs> and the elimination sheet was subbing directly on top. Color is definitely in there. The elimination sheet is actually holding. And you wonder how HTV just really works now, huh? Kind of crazy. Let me think about some more. Might have another project coming up. I'll be back. Third wash. Here we go. Y'all, this has been washed a total of three times. Dried three times. No different. None. This elimination sheet is actually stuck to this shirt. This is crazy. This is the sublimation inkjet dark transfer paper. Oh, there we go. Get a little light in here. Look at it. Still there. This is the 3G jet dark transfer paper and remember you guys i did not turn these shirts inside out i literally just threw them in a load of clothes washed them wait to see what was going to happen so now we know that yes you can do a lamination sheet and sub directly onto it there's no white htv under this is only a lamination sheet and it works three washes later y'all look it works and it stays. That's amazing to know. Again, the reason I did this is my daughter had um doing her shirt for Halloween. I'm going to list that shirt later on this week. And literally, that's all I'm doing. Because if I have no other color shirts, I have white shirts. This here, this inkjet sublimation dark transfer paper. The reason for this was sometime I don't have sublimation ink. And I end up with the 11 by 17 dark transfer paper. So, of course, I don't want to cut it and have a sharp piece and then a eight and a half by 11 piece. So, this 11 by 17, I can send through my eco solvent printer. That's amazing. The 3G Jet, I always send that through my um, inkjet printer. So, this was just to find out if the eco solvent color would work. So these two proved to me that when all else fell, if I have 11 by 17 and I want to get a bang for my buck using my silhouette and my cameo, I will use the dark transfer inkjet sublimation paper 
or if 3G has an 11 by 17, I can use that also. Um, I'm going to do another video. I've tried this same exact thing and it worked. Now I got to go find a shirt, but it works with HTV Rent. Amazon sells HTV Rent dark transfer paper that's 11 by 17. I use my color settings as photo paper and oh baby, it's beautiful. I can't wait to press it on the shirt so you guys can see it also. So this was one of our little shindigs. I got something else coming up next to get us prepped for the Christmas spirit. You guys, thank you for tuning into our channel. If you like the stuff that we're doing here, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time Zycreation17 drops a video. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings, and happy crafting.